Okay, in this segment we're going to cover draining the radiator. Um, prior to draining and cooling out, the first thing we need to do is remove the cap. Um, if the system's under pressure, uh, when you push down on this cap to release it, in order to turn the cap, it's got a lock system on it. You have to push down and twist simultaneously. When you push down, if you hear a venting of pressure um, when you push down, that means your system's still under pressure. Hold it down for a few seconds until you hear that sound stop. What it's doing is removing any pressure, equalizing the pressure between the radiator and the overflow tank. In other words, just removing the pressure from the radiator and bringing it back down to atmosphere pressure. After you hear the sound stop, twist and just twist it all the way around until you can remove it and it'll lift straight off. At this time, inspect your cap. What you're looking for is look at these rubber seals that are on there. There's two of them. One's at the bottom and one sits up on the inside of the cap. This is a pressure release valve seal here. What you're looking for is any indication of dry rot, crack, splits, or any damage to the rubber. And also inspect the inside one for the same situation. You're looking for dry rot, crack, splits, or any damage that would prevent it from sealing. And then you squeeze in on the spring and see that the diaphragm assembly moves and everything. That's not going to tell you if it's um, building the pressure correctly, but it'll tell you that it is moving. And if anything there doesn't work as directed, then that'll indicate that you need to replace your cap. It's a good idea to replace the cap with replacing a radiator. It's a good preventive maintenance. Now that we've got the cap off, we want to place a drain pan underneath. On your petcock, you'll see a rubber hose connected to it, a clear rubber hose, and that's going to go down through a hole in your lower splash pan, and you want your drain pan to be located underneath that hose. And then just go ahead and twist the petcock open. You should be able to do it with your fingers. And just go ahead and open up the petcock. And allow the coolant to drain out into the pan. At this time, we want to wait till all the coolant is drained out of the system um, before we go on to our next step. So please watch our next segment. We'll cover uh, disconnecting the transmission cooler lines and draining the transmission cooler.